Will is still with us from Rougemont Global Broadcasting, talking about uh, rights management, intellectual property, that sort of thing. But more so the arts. Really. We really got into a bigger debate, didn't we, about how all of life can be art. And the very fact that we've got a distinction between art and galleries and uh, you know, everything's in boxes, isn't it? Why can't all of life be a performance? I mean, some say we do that on here. Not always that well, but <laughs> it's always a bit of a performance, isn't it? We do say we do performance. All right. I'll say it. <laughs> Is yeah. that right there, Will? Are you, are you that in, in that sort of philosophy? Well, yeah, but I think it, it ties in with the internet and distributed devices and all, all of those things. Because yeah. uh, if people have the opportunity of taking photographs or making recordings and then mixing them up, uh, their own point of view with other material, I think that, that just extends the art. It does, yeah. Because I, I think those kind of ideas are in the production of art. But once it gets into a gallery or under management of some kind, uh, it tends to be closed down. Yes. I, I think it becomes more static. It's a very good point. It's a very good point. And I think we are cutting the edges here. Yeah. We are. Of the good point. I think we should get the accident, but really we're so cutting edge <laughs> we are. in the studio today. We've got to watch it because we so will be taken I, off air. I do have... Um, <laughs> I do have an idea about this. I don't know where the budget would come from, but I think if um, if Laura Kakaka was regarded as a designer rather than an artist, and just asked to set up a disco or a nightclub or somewhere like that, um, maybe it would be more socially acceptable for more video cameras to be in the situation. Right. I'm not sure more what difference it would make. It's thorough now. Yeah. It's getting serious. We're getting in big trouble. Security. I'm trying to find the button under the desk. I can't find it. No, but seriously, Will, I love what you're saying, and uh, I think all of art should be, or all of life should be, a performance and, and an art form, which I think is what you're saying. I think that's what I'm and saying. I, I think also maybe maybe some of the visual arts people can come on the show later on and, and make their point of view. Yeah, They're more point. than welcome. Really like you can come on here any time and invite other people onto our show. That's fine. Well, well, we'll give it a go. Don't get angry. <laughs> it's funny, look, someone else um, has, has, has now emailed in. The Challenge Theatre. Uh, we, they want us to, to, to mention what they're doing. Running a charity project named Challenge Theatre, which is aiming to raise money for hospice care. Or hospice care. And we started uh, this year from scratch and have been fundraising every month to create a running total. The project will end in October with a big Halloween theatre show. The running total will be added up and presented to the hospice. Um, they've got a newsletter attached, but I mean, we can't read that. We want you to come in and talk about it, so absolutely. Yes, let's see what your name is. Yeah, Becky and Sylvia. You're very welcome to come in and talk. That sounds like a great uh, project that you're running there. It Becky and good. Sylvia, thanks for emailing in. Come on in and come and talk about mm. it, just as uh, Will has been doing today. I promise I'll be good. Yes, uh, <laughs> that's good. Now, the funny thing is, you've... You, is this some sort of performance thing we're doing now, Will? Because you've given me a, a pretty random looking CD with no track listing on it and asked me to play it. Uh, well, there's three tracks on it. Should we be, be a bit edgy here? Well, you, ch just see, see, where, see where you go with it and I'll explain it's what it is easy, afterwards. It's easy for you to say, right, okay. <laughs> it sounded rather quiet. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> That's not funny, we can't see what you're pointing at. I'm just thinking this isn't great listening. art if all of life is a performance. <laughs> yeah. The CD deck doesn't like your CD and won't play it. Well, it's okay. got three, three MP3 tracks on it. Yeah, so. I know, I'm trying to play all of them. Yeah. Oh, there we go as well. Oh, yeah, now this is. This what is, is this? This is, um, this is from last week. This is Isambard. Do you want me to explain it or to let it go? Just let it all go. Let it go, let it go through. Let it go, man. Yeah. And I'll come back to the other one. Two, two minutes, two and a half minutes. But the sound quality is terrible. Um, well, all right, you can, you can take the... Carl, it's up to you. It's up to you. We haven't pulled the song since uh, Jagger got shit on the tune. Let's just put that in the background. Who's that then, Will? Uh, that's Isambard Electric. Um, right, okay. I know we're moving about here in topics. Yeah. Um, it all started with the uh, chat show during the beer festival yes. at uh, the castle, uh -huh. where Richmond Global Broadcasting is, is based, obviously. And uh, Isambard uh, Electric were the, the main act on that. All right. um, the, the sound quality, which you just commented on, uh, was an issue. <laughs> uh, but I think it's worth pursuing. 
because uh, something can be done with the, with the sound. Um, I'm, I'm looking for people to help uh, improve that. That was just one sample that, that I, I uh, found for, for this week. Um, the, the name of the track is High Germany and there's probably better versions of it on YouTube here and there. All right. um, or you can always buy the CD of course. We are absolutely flying by the seat of our pants. It doesn't like your CD. doesn't like the CD. It doesn't like your CD. But... <laughs> so how do people get involved then? If they want to turn their lives into art, you're the sort of guys obviously dealing with now. We've got a gong man trying to get into the studio now who's our next guest. Well, I would say... How, how do, I it would, just feels like a can say, of worms has been opened and they're all would, over the floor in the studio. Here. I would say, have a, have a look at... also, they are passing wind. The worms. <laughs> Adding to the global, global warming situation. Yes. So let's get them back in the tin soon. Sharon, well, what should we do about the worms? How, how do people get involved in your artistic movement? Um, well, I, I, find, find the videos for this show on YouTube and sort of follow the links from there. That would be, or Beer at the Castle, or one word. Yeah. That's a good uh, tag. Um, I think have a look at Creative Commons copyright licensing. Yes. I, you know, maybe it's odd advice for creatives, but Creative Commons copyright licensing, something yeah. to study. And I think look at music. I think music uh, may not have a business model. It may not be working quite as well as some people claim. But uh, there's something going on there and I think other forms of art could look at it. Something very interesting is happening, isn't it? Whether we like it or not, I think, is the bottom line here. And yeah. I think, I think yes, I, I've enjoyed our conversation. I don't quite understand it, but that's another part of things here, isn't it? We don't have to resolve and conclude everything. Is it can be ongoing. Do understand. Chip what generally. This, yeah. <laughs> Honestly you just play the music and you go, oh yeah. And if it, if there's talking on it, like that hip hop stuff <laughs> you tell me that's where it should be. Right. <laughs> when he's not really singing, but then you tell me that he's been out with Superman's girlfriend who's not married her. Then he's at the top of my echelon of good people. Nurse, more oxygen, please. <laughs> For the new extra radio show. Standing outside oh, the extra picture house on a lovely summer evening with uh, Sue and Diana. And the reason we're here is because it went really bizarre in the last 15 yes, minutes. It, it went, it went strange, yes. really bizarre. Yes. yes. But, but I, okay. think I, got, I think I got like the an experiment. Oh. 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 God. Cut. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Um, now, if if I think this is if this was an art piece, as it's obviously turning into, um, what sort of art is this? It's, it's uh, <laughs> it uh, started off as visual art, and yeah. it's now performance art. <laughs> right, <laughs> lack of performance, and it is obviously art because good art often is nothing, and you just have to appreciate it. And it could be silence in our case. Or it could be. <laughs> With any luck. Yeah, yes. Yes. Or you know, you, get, you know, you get it. I think I've decided that I should talk in the boom room accent. Right, that's like I put some music. <laughs> that was so jam. <laughs> that was so jam. <laughs> Yeah. We've lost the plot. Oh, just, just say that what you said. This is fantastic, right? We've got a disco dancer album cool. on the KTEL label. And I'm looking at it and I'm wondering where else are you going to get such horrors as Sad Luck by David Christie? Next to. What have we got here? We've got Evelyn King, we've got Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. And it's a special non-stop disco sequence of all things. I don't know who uh, put that together. But that is oh, it's it's Tony Prince of the Disco Mix Club and Alan Coulthard. All right. So come yeah. just, just look at some of the other ones because that, that DJ was DJ Shadow. Eat your heart out. That was one which I added, but I've just go, just run through the other ones. I can't, mate. I've got a show. You've got a show to do. <laughs> or maybe later on. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love that. All right. Okay, good. Thanks, Colin. Life is art. Life is art form. <laughs> <laughs> 